Gotta keep remembering I'm living the dream here. I wonder, do you think Adam Henson does stuff like this? Half term holidays. Hazard and Jack are about. Jack's got GCSEs. Uh, GCSE mocks start next week, which is rubbish. I don't envy him that. But Haz is about. I'm going to grab him later for a bit of uh, help. I've got, um, you know, I've got a little job for him. What I like to do is just give him little. Oh, my eyebrows need trimming. Look at that, flipping it. I just, whoa. Ooh, they just keep growing <laughs> along with the ear air. This stuff doesn't grow much, although I still got it. Still got it, baby. <laughs> right. Where was I? I completely lost. Oh yeah. Um, so the react. So I like to give Haz a little jobs really because it's all about uh, you know he wants to do a bit of CGI in on the tractors, which you might have realised is CGI obviously when you might have seen someone looks like Harry driving it, um, and that's all well and good, but. Um, I need to get him to do the little basic stuff. So we got a little. I've got a little hand tool. We need to put a handle on later. So I'm going to get him in the workshop. Um, but he's he's cleared off back inside now. Don't blame him. It's a horrible wet day. But I thought I'd share with you anyway. What I got my new little companion when Harry's not here. There he is. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear had a bit of a baler accident. Looks like he's been on farm. I wonder if his head thing shuts. Oof. Look at it. I thought that was supposed to shut, but I don't think it does. Perhaps it, ah, perhaps it's supposed to have another bit on there that flips forward. Just giving Buzz a bit of a, that's better, look. Buzz looks like he's seen better days. Buzz has seen better days. Ha <laughs> To infinity and beyond. So he's my little new mascot and companion. Oh, I, don't, I found it. Hedged. Look, it looks like he's supposed to be bolted or something. He can go on there. I wonder if he could fit on there, look. To infinity. There we go, look. I've wedged him in there. His head thing, look. Buzz can be hanging around with me. Look at that. Good old Buzz. All right, Buzz. All right, so that's my Buzz Lightyear mascot now. Gonna help me out with things. I wonder how long that'll stay on there. Be right till I open the bonnet, wouldn't it? If I open the bonnet, then he'll get booted out. But I'll leave him there for... Do you know what? You quite often see refuse carts and stuff with them on, don't you? Um, I found him, I was hedge trimming. Found, uh, two lucky finds, actually. I'll show you the other one later. <laughs> found a Buzz Lightyear. He's my new mascot. And then, as I was driving along, I looked down and saw this red thing. This is on the side of the road when I was hedge trimming. I was just, I was just driving along. And uh, I picked up this Snap-on uh, Spotlight, a rechargeable one. And uh, I've got it on charge in the farmhouse now, actually. I, mean, I must admit, I'm a bit of an old, old uh, stick of the dumb. I find bits and pieces when I'm going along doing stuff. I found, do you know what? Over the years, I've found so many different things on the side of the road, like tools, spanners, and... Um, uh, screwdrivers and stuff and I'm sure with this snap-on it's the same thing people leave them on a vehicle like a works van or something drive on and forget they're there and I'm pretty sure this snap-on one it's got a magnetic attachment I reckon someone stuck it on the side of their van and forgot about it drove off and it's fallen off anyway I picked it up it looks a bit ropey but I char started charging it I thought it was completely dead when I found it started charging it and it's working it and it looks pretty good actually it's just the sort of thing hey it's a manky old thing, but on a farm, look at me, I'm surrounded by manky old stuff. I am the manky old stuff. I used it, and it's a damn good little bit of a spotlight. It's the sort of thing I mean to buy for myself, and then never do. Um, and I, this would be a good place to use it, actually. It's quite dark. It's magnetic, so it would go on to there. But I need to get up here now with the loader, and I've got to um, take the rest of the crap off there, which is a rubbish job. Right, let's get the tractor and let's do it.
Hey ho, let's go, right. This is where I keep fit. This is my obstacle course. Right, up and over. Up and over. So straw on this part. I'm taking the straw off here, but underneath, look. What can you see? A load of manky old rotten, rotten silage at the back. Look, look at that, can you see that? Ugh. This stuff's even more grim. Look here, it's just formed a sludge. It's like, it's like treacle, treacle pudding. Can you see that? That's disgusting. So what it's done is formed a, it's where you can't get to the back with the, uh, with the, with the um, roller. Let me just see that. Can you see that? Can you smell that? My, Jack said to me at lunchtime, he said, you stink. And I thought, yeah, I know why. It's this blooming stuff. Um, so what it is, is when they roll the clamp, uh, here's a bit of rolling. When they roll the clamp, they can't get the wheels right up to the back wall. So the back bit of the silage isn't compressed quite enough. And so it, it basically just shows you what the difference all that rolling makes. So uh, it tends to go a bit manky. Um, so mugs like me have to, uh, oh, can you see me? It's very dark, isn't it? Let me just put it down here. This is where the, there's no light here. What I need is my stap, new stap, snap on light, isn't it? Stap on. Sticky toffee pudding, just think of that. Right. I'm not going to take it all off. Actually, I could get a shovel up here in a minute. It's just, it's just a horrible job. Someone's got to do it, and I'm the mug who has to do it. I am. Look at that. Oh. Gotta keep remembering I'm living the dream here. I wonder, do you think Adam Henson does stuff like this? Do you think after he's done country file he goes home and goes right to his wife? He goes I've got to get up on the clamp because I've got to get off the top of the manky maze. I'm not knocking Adam Henson because he's, he's an ambassador for the farming industry that he's from. Probably you could say a little bit of a different era actually because people like him started before the YouTubing world, you know? And it was very difficult for people to access farming videos and see the reality of farming. And uh, it's kind of like country far. I wouldn't say it's been left behind, but it's, and let's not, let's not go down the road of knocking country far because there is a place for it. And I know a lot of farmers are really anti country far, which I kind of get, um, but it's kind of been left behind in a way because uh, it's got its niche and it is probably more for the people who don't understand farming than, than you know, the general farming population. I think it started out as a Farming Today type program that, um, if I remember rightly, used to be on about one o'clock in the afternoon in the 70s. I think my dad used to watch it just for Sunday lunch. And it was much more of a farming program. Do you know what, actually, do you know what I'd really like to see? 
I really like to see an old version of Country File. Not the Country File we've got now, but the old version that was the farming one from the 70s. It'd be really interesting to look at. Um, but uh, do you know what, it's, as I was saying, it's sort of, I think it's almost kind of like been left behind for those that are really into farming, because they've switched to watching the YouTube family. And uh, I'm not just talking of, you know, watching myself, but what we've got now is, it's a really interesting side effect of social media in the fact that what we've got now is the ability to really get down to see what farming's about without someone glossy um, and, and having a time limit to be there because they've got to pay the studio and they've got to pay the cameraman and everything. What you've got is people like me, look, I'm, while I'm talking to you, I'm just digging this out. What you've got, people unfiltered, if you like, because the BBC have got, got to be filtered, hasn't it? It's got to be, whether they've got an agenda or not is up to you, but oh, look at that beauty. It's, it's got to be politically correct. It's got to be gender neutral. It's got to be diverse. It's got to be whatever woke is probably the word. Um, and the thing is, the farming community doesn't have to be like that. And it probably reflects more of a real world attitude now on YouTube than, than you get on something like Country Farm. Because, because, well, for starters, <laughs> People like me are getting their hands dirty, doing the job. And I don't, like I said, I'm not knocking Adam Henson, but I'm sure he doesn't get his hands dirty very often. Not at all. He's the only one on there with a real, far real farming as well, isn't he? I don't know, I don't really watch it anymore, really. I'd rather watch YouTube. Anyway, right, I'm nearly finished here. I'm gonna get a bit down on this corner, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that do, and then as I go back with the with the maize bucket, I'm going to um, kind of, once I've taken a lot of the maize out, I'm going to just dig down the edge and dump that another day. But I've just got to get this corner out. <laughs> I did sleep in the hay barn with the kids um, one summer. Do you remember that? That was a laugh. Do you know you've got to do these things at the right time, haven't you? Because they wouldn't sleep out in the hay barn with me now. I think they think it was a stupid idea. When it was, we got really itchy. Um, but do you know what? I've done it, haven't I? And it's all about that sort of thing in life, isn't it? Grab the moment when you can, because sooner or later it becomes too late. Anyway, right, I, um, I've done this now, right, I've got that load on. So, this isn't too bad here. I'll, I'm basically going backwards with the loader, feeding it in ring feeders, as you know. When I get to the edge there, I might just scoop that bucket down there and pick out across there. Right, let's go and dump this. This is no good for anyone, look at it. This is a, this is a bucket full of rubbish, manky stuff. Right. Let's go down the slide. Whee! Whee!
okay, look. You can just, so there's the nice stuff they can eat. And that's, that's in there just pecking away at that now. Then this one here decided rather nibble amongst the old manky stuff. Look at that. Look, you can see it's full of crap. Can't you? Why do you want to eat that stuff? It's disgusting. Hmm? Look. Manky. Alright, well, yeah, you've given up on that, haven't you? It's not very nice, is it? I, I don't really pick it, chuck it out there. They pick over it. It doesn't seem to cause them any harm. Uh, and they can just pick over out of it what they want. But they, they ain't going to pick much out of that. That'll just get scraped out tomorrow with the muck. Um, right. I'm just going to say goodbye to Buzz. All right, Buzz. What do you think so far? Rubbish. Rubbish. Oh, Buzz, you could do with a bit of a, a bit of a clean, couldn't you? Oh, he doesn't look too impressed, does he? Look at that evil stare. God. Buzz. Speak to me, Buzz. Right, we're going to leave Buzz there. I've got a very good dirty camera lens. We're going to leave Buzz there. Into infinity and beyond. And I'm going to go and see um, my Buzz, my little Buzz, Harry. And he can help me put this handle back on this spl log splitter. Right, let's crack on. Oh, it's actually not far off. I think that could almost go. Oh, oh, Jesus. mind your foot. Um